Are you a working actor who auditions, but you're not winning many of the roles that you know you deserve? Or maybe you're a beginning actor and you just want to land that first role and start getting paid to do something that you really love. Well, you're in the right place. In this video, you're going to learn about the three big acting pitfalls that make many actors look like amateurs rather than pros when they act. The worst thing about it is that most of them don't really know what it is that they're doing wrong. Watch the entire video and then you'll also discover the one simple powerful fix that will avoid all three of these pitfalls for you. I'm Louis DeBianco. This is my channel, Screen Acting Success. I'm a working actor with 79 screen credits. I only share the tips, the techniques, and the secrets that I learned working in front of the camera for more than 40 years. If this is your first time here, make sure to click subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. So, what are the three big acting pitfalls? Pitfall number one, one note acting. This usually happens when the actor finds a dominant emotion in the scene and then chooses to play only that emotion beat after beat after beat. Imagine listening to a piece of music for the first time and it ends up sounding like this. Ouch, right? Hey, don't beat yourself up if you're guilty of one note acting because most of us have done it at one time or another. But by the end of this video, you'll never do it again. You'd better not. You understand? Pitfall number two, playing the judgment of a character instead of a real person. That usually happens when an actor is portraying a character that they don't really like. They might find that person mean, irritating, um, immoral, or even evil. And what happens is that the actor starts playing the qualities or the attitudes that represent that person instead of taking a deep dive to find the real person beneath all that stuff. Here's an example. You're playing a bad guy and your performance ends up looking like this. It's a caricature, right? Or you are playing a woman that you see as a really nasty woman. That's your judgment of her. And that's what you play. And most of the performance ends up looking like this. Newsflash. Caricatures get boring very quickly on screen. Pitfall number three, playing the end of the scene at the beginning. Huh? Well, yeah. I mean, you've read the scene, at least I hope you have, and you've memorized it. So you know how the scene ends. Duh. And here's what that might look like if you fall into this trap. Let's say that you're playing a, a woman who's having an intense conversation with a good friend. And by the end of this conversation, she's going to discover something that is going to shock her. The problem is that if you're playing the scene, the ending of the scene at the beginning, then your tone of voice when you say the lines and a lot of your facial expressions are going to be telegraphing that astonishment or shock way before you get there. Now, the effect this has on an audience is that they are not going to make any discoveries because you're not going to make discoveries. So no discoveries. That means no mystery, no mystery, no drama, no drama. Well, 
please refund the price of my ticket? Okay, what is the one powerful, simple fix that will help you to avoid all of these pitfalls? It's one word, intention. The image on the screen shows that there's a pitfall, but there's also a bridge over the pitfall. And that bridge is intention. What is intention? Simple definition in a dictionary says that it's um, a, an aim or a plan. And for the actor, your aim is toward a high stakes want that you're fighting for to win in the scene. And how do you know if you're getting closer to winning it? Well, the only way to know it is to focus entirely on the other character in the scene in a two-hander. You can only get an intention from the other character. You want something that they have that you must have. You really must have it, like life and death have it. High, high stakes. So let's look at how that would help you to avoid pitfall number one, one note acting. When you're playing one note, like playing an emotion, you're not really, you're inside yourself. You're just trying to deliver a really strong feeling, but that has nothing to do with the other person. But if you're playing an intention, then you must take your focus out of you on that person. And by doing that, you're going to play different beats. Um, the word tactic is used a lot. I use it sometimes too. Each beat will require a different tactic. The reason I'm not crazy about the word tactic is that it can sound manipulative. But let's use the word adjustments. As you pay attention to the other person, moment to moment, and they throw obstacles in your way, then you've got to use a different adjustment to continue moving toward your destination, which is the intention. Now, pitfall number two, playing qualities or playing a judgment that ends up being a series of qualities or attitudes. Once again, when you do that, you're not really seeing or hearing the other person in the scene. You're just posturing. If you're playing a bad guy, you're playing a tough guy, you're playing a mean person. Well, that's about you and your performance. Look at how well I do this. But if you're just there, honestly serving the moment to moment needs of the scene, then your whole focus is going to be on the other person. It's a whole different um, quality comes into the work. You'll play different colors. You'll, um, there'll be an arc, an emotional arc to your scene. Now let's go to the final one. Playing the end of the scene at the beginning. Intention will discipline you to play your very first line as if it's the only line that you have. Why? Because your next line isn't necessary, won't happen until the other person gives you something to react to, which will determine how you're going to say that line and what adjustment you're going to make to get closer to achieving your intention. This is, I mean, really give this some thought. I remember that when I was in my first acting class, I had a great teacher, his name was Michael Beckett. This was at the Herbert Berghoff Studios in New York City. And he said something that has stayed with me all my life and it's enriched my acting. He said, great acting is a form of great generosity I said, wow, and you show that generosity by serving your partner, by serving the other person in the scene. 
by making everything you say and do about what you get from them. Now, this takes a lot of trust. So you might understand it here, but you won't necessarily allow yourself to surrender to it right away, but work on it. It will transform your acting. It will be magical. Let's do a quick recap of what you learned in this video. There are three big acting pitfalls. One note acting, playing the judgment of a character, and playing the end of the scene at the beginning. There's one powerful bridge over all of the pitfalls, and that bridge is intention. And all great actors make their work always about playing intentions. If you got some value from this video, leave a comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed, do it now and give the video a thumbs up. In the next video, you're not going to want to miss it. I'm going to be sharing one powerful secret that will give you instant magnetic presence on camera every time. I put a link in the description below to a website that describes in detail the latest online course that I've created called Self Taping Mastery. Just go there to find out everything that I'm offering you. The course plus all of the insane bonuses that come with it. If it's not for you, no problem. Just check it out. And until the next video, always feel it, say it, mean it, book it.